Hi everyone, Kremlin here for the Techies. Today I'm going to be going over the brush stroke tool in Inkscape. So pretty much what this tool allows you to do is to make curves that look as if you're using a paintbrush or say a whiteboard marker. So I'm going to be showing you the different settings that you can calibrate up here in this toolbar. So first, of course, we have the width, and you can vary this from, say, 11 all the way to uh, 100, but here we go. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll stick to 30. That seems like a good width. The next button on here determines whether or not the pressure that you put in on your drawing device, uh, whether it affects the thickness of your line. So if you're just using a mouse, you don't have to worry about this at all. It won't change anything since uh, clicking it just turns it on or off. But if you have some kind of drawing device like an electronic pen that senses the pressure that you put in it, this might be a handy tool to use. Next one on here uh, determines the thickness of the lines based upon the darkness of the background. So to demonstrate, I'll just go ahead and make three colors here, uh, one black, one gray, and the other one will just leave white. And as you can see, the thickness on the black is pretty thick, on the gray it's thinner, and on the white it's pretty much just a hairline. You can barely see it. Okay, all right, the next thing on here is the thinning. The thinning determines uh, whether or not your, how fast you move the mouse uh, determines the thickness of the line. So at zero, there is no variation at all uh, in the thickness. Uh, if we turn this up to say eight, uh, 87.87, it gets thinner as you move the mouse faster like this. And of course, the opposite can be done with negatives, so it gets actually thicker when you move it uh, faster like that. All right, let's set that back to zero. All right, next one determines the angle at which you draw. If I go like this, you see that the red edge next to the green, that is a 45 degree angle. If I change this to say um, 90, it's now a straight line, straight vertical line. And zero, of course, would be horizontal. Okay, so we set this back to 45. And the next button on here also applies to only uh, devices for drawing that uh, sense the pressure. Uh, so you don't have to worry about this if uh, you just, you're just using a mouse. Um, next one is the fixation, which means how far this uh, angle is going to turn. As, I, as you can see here, it kind of switches from there to there. Uh, if I turn this all the way down to zero, it will not turn, it will turn all the way. And if we set this to one, it won't turn at all. So that can be useful for determining the uh, how markerish it looks, if you know what I mean. The next one determines how the ends of the marks look. So I, as you can see now, it's slightly rounded. If we turn this to zero, it's just a straight edge. And all the way up to one, or actually it goes up to five, uh, it's extremely elongated like this. The next one determines the amount of randomness in your stroke. So at zero, it's perfect. It follows exactly what we've done. And if we turn this up a bit, say all the way to one, it goes haywire like this. And intermediately, something like 35, it just adds a bit of tremor. The next one is Wriggle. It does a similar job, but this um, lets it loop kind of like this. Set it up to one, we can see the effect like that. The next tool up here is the mass of the pen. If we set it to zero, it follows our hand precisely and it can be a bit rugged and shaky. And if we set it to say 0.2, there's a slight delay, but it's a much smoother line. And of course, all the way to one is just ridiculously slow, but this is good if you're doing very precise and detailed strokes. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, thank you, I hope you learned something. This has been Kremlin for the Techies.